Yo yo everyone, how are all of you doing today? I for one am doing pretty shitty cause I just dropped my bagel on my chair but I ate it anyways, feels bad man. Bad idea I know, I have no idea what I was thinking while I was eating the chair. Anyways, just like all of my videos recently, this one is yet again going to be another crazy challenge. And that challenge. To survive as long as possible without popping any balloons, not a single one of them. To make things even tougher, I teamed up with my buddy Tyler, I mean Dildo Bike, who is also attempting the exact same challenge as me. Though you probably already knew that if you watched his video about this, which I'll link in the description in case you're interested in seeing his perspective on it or if you wanted to listen to his beautiful voice, no homo. So yeah. In my opinion this challenge is pretty damn cool and exciting so let me explain how we're going to go about doing this. We're going to need the following four towers. Ice, Village, Farm and Cobra. Ice is there so we can stall the balloons, don't think an explanation was really necessary there. The village is so that we can enable our ice towers to freeze white and zebra balloons, otherwise how else are we going to stall them? The farm is there purely so we can rake up enough cash monies to afford all our stuff, since it would probably be in our best interest not to send balloons at each other. And lastly, the cobra, you won't see it being used until way later into the video, so I'll hold off on that until the time comes. Now let's talk about strategy. Well, I think a few months ago Ninja Kiwi tweaked the ice tower's mechanics so that it would be more reliable in freezing balloons, and only just now have Tyler and I realized it was a huge change, cause take a look at my side of the screen, and focus in on the currently frozen balloons. Do you see anything peculiar about it? The frozen balloons aren't being unfrozen at all. Holy shit guys! It looks like the ice shard tower is capable of permanently freezing balloons, this is big if true. So essentially having just a couple of ice shards on the map can last you all the way up until the first Moab, which appears on round 27. At that point we got a bit of a problem, how are we gonna be able to stall the blimps without actually popping them? That's where the Cobra kicks in. I know I said just a minute ago that I'd talk about the Cobra once we actually start using it, but fuck that I guess. The answer to stalling blimps is the misdirection ability from the Cobra, so when the Moabs reach the near end of your track, just press the button and it'll send that shit flying right back to Tyler's side, where he will then have about 30 seconds to misdirect them to my screen, and so on and so forth. Of course there will be a point where there's just too many Moabs for us to juggle back and forth, but hey, that's long enough for us to consider this a pretty crazy world record. Now that I've given you a good summary of what our limit is to this no popping challenge, I suppose it's a good time for you guys to get your brains out and guess how far of a round we'll get to, so go ahead and type it down in the comments if you want. I should add that this is about the 8th attempt you're seeing right now. It took quite a bit of practice trying to perfect the strategy by trying certain tower combinations to maximize our round limit and in the end I'm pretty damn confident this is the best way to go about it. With that said, that also means that there is around 7 other attempts that you aren't seeing and I'm sure you would probably be interested in seeing some of the epic fails Tyler and I had during our struggle in those games. But just like many things in life, this footage doesn't come free. All I ask is for 1000 likes on this video and I shall reward you with a compilation of all those fails. Shouldn't be too hard to achieve right? I mean if half naked women can get thousands of likes and a white guy faking being colorblind can get over a million, then how about some for our robots in gray? Alright, so as with every other video let's just go over and respond to some comments to pass the time. Dirty Dan asks, why not upload BMC? Probably because BMC is a dead game and the only people who upload BMC are the ones with dead channels. Will I be doing Tap Titans 2 videos? Doubtful, I've been out of the clicker game genre for quite a while now and even if I did go back into playing it, I'm not sure if I'd even upload, depends on how different it is I guess. 
This one's in reply to my previous video about activating as many abilities as possible. Why didn't I use Mega Boosts? Because I'm an idiot, that's why. I'll probably have to get back to that kind of video now that I realize how easily I can break that record. I hope YouTube is gonna ban this channel, I hope so too buddy. I am so fucking triggered right now how the fuck are you going to, oh, I think I've entered the wrong side of the YouTube comments guys. The other day I decided to check up on my highest rated video to date which is on the 5 worst abilities, just to see how it's been doing. And let me tell you this comment section is a fucking war zone. Go ahead and see it for yourself, perhaps you may want to bring some weapons for extermination as well cause I'm gonna need some help purifying the tiny brains of these kids. That's a wrap for the responding to comments segment, even after all of that we still aren't at round 27 yet, god damn are these rounds super long. Normally at 16 minutes of game time I'd expect to be at round 35 or so. I should also mention that at this point things were starting to get pretty laggy on my side. I'm not sure if you can notice it since it's at 3 times speed, but it's only going to get worse as more and more balloons pile up underneath each over. My toaster can only handle so much man, I didn't realize this challenge would be so CPU intensive otherwise I would have closed all my programs and 20 chrome tabs for maximum performance. In fact it gets so bad near the end that my mouse clicks take up to 5 seconds to be registered, making it almost impossible to place down more cobras and time abilities properly. You'll notice that's the case if you look closely at where my mouse is when things start getting placed. Alright, so here come the Moabs, because I'm scared of the mouse click delay problem I play it a little safe by activating the misdirection ability super duper early. Before any dumb comments arise let me just clarify some things which Tyler covered in his video. All my Cobras on the screen are set on first with a few on close at the moment but I did change it back later. This way, none of the Cobras will target the Moabs until it reaches the very end, but since I misdirect them early they won't be harmed at all. Tyler's doing the exact same as me, but he has it a little easier because he mentioned he had a frozen balloon all the way out on the outside of the track which the Cobras were targeting. That leads me to point number two. Cobras can't pop frozen balloons, which is super awesome because you won't have to worry about having them fuck up the no popping. I just have to make sure they aren't in range of the 2-3 villages I have at the top there, cause otherwise they'll pop the frozen balloons and that will lead to a giant chain reactor of ice shards flying everywhere. Don't want that to happen right, ha <laughs> ha, only a true idiot can make that mistake. And lastly, Tyler's side is not to be trusted from my perspective because of ping differences, so if somehow you notice he popped a balloon on his side, I can safely say he did not. Just check his video if you don't believe it. I think I'll end the commentary here but the video itself is not over yet, so keep on watching to see what round we shall get to. And remember guys, 1000 likes for the blooper video, I know you want it. Have a frozen day.